Welcome back everyone. In this third installment we're going to create the player class for our rock paper scissors game. So where the computer player had us generate a random number one, two, or three and each of those numbers were assigned to either a move of rock, paper, or scissors the player will be allowed to enter their move so we'll need to import the scanner class. So let's create a new file for our player so new file and then we'll say public class player open and close curly braces and of course typically a class will have fields a constructor and its methods and we'll go start by making a default constructor for players so public player And now we'll build our get player move method. So we'll say public string get player move. Open and close curly braces. And we'll instantiate a local variable called player move. And we'll make it a string because we're going to return rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so that instantiates a variable called player move of type string and the string is empty. So now we're going to use a while loop to continually check if the player actually put in rock, paper, scissors and if they put in something else because they're goofing off then we're going to ask them to re-enter their move of rock, paper, scissors. So we can say while and then we have our condition and then we have our code statements so our condition for this while loop is going to be uh, we're going to use the logical not operator so if the player move dot equals ignore case Well, actually, yeah, let's just use equals so that um, we can confirm that they entered in all caps. So we'll say rock. And player move does not equal. That's the exclamation point part paper and our last choice would be not and then player move again dot equals scissors and then we'll um, close our condition and go back to we've already got our curly braces for our while loop and so we'll replace our code statement now so remember we were checking if they have entered rock paper scissors and if they have not then we need to print out a message to them to please enter those one of those three values so we'll say system.out.println enter your move and then we'll say something like enter rock paper or scissors then we'll close the bracket, we'll put a colon and then close the quotes, close the parentheses and a semicolon Okay, so now that we've checked to make sure that they have entered rock, paper, or scissors, we also want to get their move. So we're going to say create an instance of the scanner class.
and we'll need to make sure we import the scanner class. So up here at the top before our class declaration, we're going to say import java.util.scanner. And then we need to read in the player's move, so we'll say player move is equal to reader dot next line. And we'll make sure that the player move is in uppercase, so we'll say player move is equal to player move to upper case. There's also a to lower case, and um, there's also instead of equals you could of course use e ignore equals ignore case depending on what form you want the answer in and then when we're done and we've got the players move and we've checked to make sure it's rock paper or scissors then we'll go ahead and return the player move And we'll save this file. And then in our main class, we'll also instantiate an instance of player. Oops, so player, player one. And since player one, let's put it up above it. Because that player is going to go first. Player, player one is equal to new computer player, I'm um, new player and then we'll print out his move first so system dot out dot print ln players move and then we'll let the computer go okay so let's compile and see if we have any mistakes and we do. So it says we've got an illegal start of expression. Looks like I have too many parentheses there. So let's try compiling again. And I spelled scanner wrong. So I'll take out one C. And you're always going to have some errors. Um, so it's good to see a few common errors that you're likely to make and get used to seeing the dreaded yellow highlighted text that it's actually your friend and you should pay close attention to it to look up your errors and so that your project will work all right so let's run this and I'll enter rock and we tied so we'll run it again and I'll enter paper this time. And so now what we need to do is compare the two players' moves and then determine who has actually won the game. And we will do that in our next video. See you then. Bye.